Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share my initial impressions of Zen browser. This is a browser I've been curious about for a while, especially after some recent controversies with other browsers I've used. In this video, I'll walk you through what Zen browser is, why I decided to give it a try, and how I've set it up so far. So think of this as a first look, I'll be using Zen browser for a while longer and will share a more in-depth review in a future video once I've had more time to test it out. So let's dive in. So, what exactly is Zen Browser? Zen is a privacy-focused, open-source browser with on Mozilla Firefox's Gecko engine. It's designed to give you a highly customizable and secure browsing experience with a strong emphasis on user privacy and control, promising you a comma internet. Think of it as a Firefox alternative, but with a modern twist and some unique features that make it stand out. Some of its standout features include workspaces for organizing your tabs, compact mode for maximizing screen real estate, and split view for multitasking. It also has something called Zen modes, which let you further tweak the browser to your liking. Plus, it blocks trackers by default and minimizes data collection, which is a huge win for privacy conscious users. Now, let's talk about why I decided to switch. There were a few key reasons that pushed me to look for an alternative. First, there was the recent Mozilla privacy fiasco. Either this year, Mozilla updated its terms of use and it didn't go well with users. The changes seemed to give Mozilla broader rights over user data, which sparked a lot of controversy. All the data clarified that the license was only for purchasing Firefox's essential functions, the damage was done for many users, including me. It made me question whether Firefox was still the best option for privacy. Second, I wanted to move away from Chromium-based browsers. Don't get me wrong, Chromium is great, but it's heavily influenced by Google. And let's be honest, Google's data collection practices aren't exactly privacy-friendly. Plus, with so many browsers built on Chromium, it feels like we're just using different flavors of the same thing, and I really wanted something truly different. Then there's the whole Manifest V3 situation. If you're not familiar, Google's transition to Manifest V3 in Chrome has raised concerns about the future of privacy-focused extensions like card blockers. The changes could limit their effectiveness, which is a big deal for someone like me who relies on them. Zen browser being based on Firefox's engine isn't affected by this, so it felt like a safer bet. Lastly, I was a big fan of Arc Browser, which Zen Browser takes heavy inspiration from. It has some really cool features, but unfortunately, it seems it's slowly being abandoned by its developers. And since it's Chromium based, it didn't fully align with my privacy goals. Zen Browser, on the other hand, feels like a spiritual successor to Arc. It's even been described as a Mozilla based alternative to Arc. Now that we've covered what Zen Browser is and why I decided to give it a try, let's dive into its key features. These are the things that make Zen stand out from other browsers, and they're a big part of why I'm so excited about it. First, up workspaces. Workspaces let you organize your tabs into separate groups so you can keep your projects or interests neatly divided. For example, I have one workspace for general browsing and another for work-related tabs. Switching between them is seamless, it really helps me stay organized. Next is the compact mode. This is perfect for anyone who wants more screen real estate. It hides the tab bar when you don't need it and brings it back when you hover over the side of the screen. It's a small but impactful feature that makes a big difference, especially on smaller screens. Another standout feature is Split View. This lets you view up to four tabs side by side, which is perfect for multitasking. So whether you're comparing information or just need to keep an eye on multiple things at once, Split View makes it easy. And finally, there's Glass, which lets you preview tabs without actually switching to them. It's a huge time saver when you're juggling multiple tabs and need to quickly find something. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive into how I've set up Zen Browser to fit my workflow. I've made a few tweaks and customizations that really enhance my browsing experience, so I'll walk you through each one. So starting with the toolbar, I've set up mine to be in single mode, which places all controls like back, forward and refresh buttons on the left side of the screen. This gives more vertical space for web pages, which is especially helpful when you're reading articles or working on documents. One thing you might notice is that the address bar or URL bar is on the toolbar, right below the navigation buttons. This is part of Zen Browser's new Zen URL bar feature. It's a small but clever addition that eliminates the need to open a new tab or window to search the web. You can just type your query directly into the URL bar, hit enter, and it automatically opens a new tab and takes you to the or search results. I personally love this feature but if it's not your thing, you can easily disable it in the settings. Next up, workspaces. I've set up two workspaces, one for general browsing and another for work related tabs. This keeps everything organized and makes it easy to switch between different tabs. If you want to create a new workspace, it's super simple. Just right click on any workspace, click the plus icon and give it a name. You can even customize it with an icon or emoji which is a nice touch. To switch between workspaces, you can either right click on the current workspace to bring up a list of all your workspaces 
or click the icon or emoji you've set for each workspace which appears right below the toolbar. It's a seamless way to keep your browsing organized. Now I know I have the toolbar always showing this demo but I actually prefer to use Zen's compact mode most of the time. So this mode hides the tab bar when you don't need it, giving you more screen real estate to focus on your content. When you do need the toolbar, just lower your mouse to the left side of the screen and it pops right back up. It's like having a full screen view of your web page without losing access to your controls. Another feature I've been using a lot is the split view. If you want to view multiple tabs side by side, just click and drag the tab, then drop it on whichever side of the screen you want. The cool part is Zen Browser lets you view up to four tabs side by side, which is perfect for multitasking. Whether you're comparing information or just need to keep an eye on multiple things at once, split view makes it easy. Finally, let's talk about privacy. So while Zen Browser does a great job of not collecting your data and comes with standard tracking protection modes such as the standard, strict, and custom, which many browsers based on Mozilla come with, I wanted to take things a step further. The default settings blocks cross-site cookies and social trackers, but I'd recommend installing a more robust solution like uBlock Origin. It not only blocks trackers but also adds, giving you an extra layer of protection. That said, there are a few things to keep in mind. The default tracking protection is set to standard, which might not be strict enough for some users. It also whitelists social media platforms for compatibility, which could allow some tracking. Additionally, the HTTPS mode only is disabled by default, so you need to manually enable it if you want to ensure all your connections are secure. Overall, Zen Browser's privacy features are solid, and with a few tweaks, you can make it even more secure. It's definitely a step up from what I was using before. So, what's my initial take on Zen Browser after setting it up and using it for a bit? Well, so far I'm really impressed. It's fast customizable and privacy focused, which is everything I need in a browser. The workspaces, compact mode, and split view features are already making my workflow more efficient, and I like how lightweight it feels compared to some other browsers I've used. That said, it's not perfect. The default privacy settings could be stronger, and I miss the ability to install website as a standard on apps, which is something you can do with Chromium-based browsers. But overall, Zen Browser has been a fantastic alternative so far. Of course, this is just my initial impressions. I'll be using Zen Browser for the next few weeks to really put it through its paces, and I'll share a more detailed review in a future video. If there's anything specific if you'd like me to test or explore, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the next one.